feel like the sexiest Tango Ice Blast Sush Puppy in my life. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out my channel and it helps me to grow as well. Today, we have literally just hit 11,000 subscribers, which is actually crazy. So if you are one of them or if you are new and you are just hitting subscribe, turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading a brand new video every single day testing these brand new palettes as well. And I also upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays after that as well. Today is day one of five of me putting these brand new Revolution and Friends palettes to the test and today we're starting with Chandler. I put a little poll up in my Patreon group Chandler won by literally one point and I also noticed in the comments last night from last night's video of me hauling all of the makeup that I bought from the collection that a lot of people were saying about Chandler as well. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing the we were on a break palette which is the more colourful forever flawless palette that was part of the collection. I'll leave my haul link down below if you want to see exactly what I picked up. I picked up everything basically that was makeup. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the lip kits to kind of launch and I've got the Joy lipstick coming today as well so I'll do that when I do Joy's palette but today we're doing Chandler's palette. So the outside little box matches the palette and then this is just what the palette looks like. We're going to go into swatches in a moment, but this retails for £8. Do swatches, we'll put it on my eye, we'll test it out, see whether it's worth the money or not. And we'll also use the Monica Setting Spray today as well, which was part of the launch from this week. So let's just get straight into it. Let's go to the swatches. Mm. So this is the palette all swatch. We have Hello Mr Bing, which definitely needed quite a few layers. I think we've got three layers on there. We've been such like a powdery blue shade. Tulsa, which is beautiful. So smooth, so creamy. We have Bigger Boy. Bought, Hypnosis, The Box, Cups, Eddie, Jack and Erica. And Erica was kind of the same, you can barely see it on camera. Really need, needed building up, um, but again, it is a very pastel purple colour, so. So as always, I'm starting off with the P. Louise base in the shade number two, Rumour. And I'm using the Peaches and Cream PC29 brush, just to tap this all over the lid. I just think it's really easy with one of these brushes. So I want to try and use as many colours as possible from this palette. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe M149 brush, which is titty titty tiny. And we're going to start off with the shade Eddie, which is this brighter pink. I said this in my video yesterday. I feel like this palette doesn't really show... Like, if somebody showed me this palette, I wouldn't think Chandler, if I was picking from all of the characters. However, I am kind of glad that they have gone for some more brighter and more, like, fun colours. Because I feel like if we went for colours that exactly represented the characters, it probably wouldn't have included pastels and bright colours that much, unless it was kind of like Phoebe, or maybe like a little bit of Joy, and obviously Joy's palette is definitely bright. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm starting off with that Eddie shade, and I'm putting this on kind of the inner part of the crease, and just kind of drawing my shape in. Okay, so now that I've got that shape down, don't don't mind that it's all messy and whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to be using the exact same brush, but a clean one, a different one. And we're going to go in with the shade Bigger Boat, which is the darker blue in the palette. And we're going to use this for the outer part of the crease. So same thing again, just putting it under the brush and tapping motions. And I'm just putting out the actual shape that I want it to be. Then we'll start blending it all and stuff like that. I'm just going to tap. The two colours together and that'll make like a nice like purpley kind of colour you can see it coming coming through a bit anyway and then I'm going to put this into the outer part of the lid as well to kind of join this together so now taking it even even smaller fluffy brush this is a Morphe M562 really really little and we're going to go in with the lighter kind of purpley colour which is Erica and I'm going to use this to start to blend out this kind of pinky, brighter colour. I don't even know if that actually did anything. It's blended it out a little bit. You can kind of see the colour a little bit on my skin, but that's about it. I'm going to go in with a different um, brush. This is the Morphe M562 brush again, but this is a new one. Well, it's clean. It's just in green. And we're going to go in with the shade Hello Mr Bing, which is this more powdery blue shade again. I had to really, really pack on that Erica shade. So I feel like this Mr. Bing one is going to be 
the exact same to blend it out. Like I am really rubbing it into the colour in the palette. Then pastel shades just, they just ain't for me. But anyways, let's go back and add back this pigmentation from the brighter shades. So I'm going to go back in with, um, I think I'll go in with Bigger Bought first, which is the blue. And just going with the kind of original, what is this, the M149 brush to build this up. And we're really going to pack this on and start building up this pigmentation. I've decided as well I'm going to change the shape of the eye and kind of wing it out instead of doing like a more rounded eye. I just feel like it'll just make that blue pop even more. I'm also going to use the same brush and pack on the blue underneath the eyes as well to kind of bring all that together and kind of link it together as well and then I'll use the little brush that we used for the Eddie shade the same as what we just used for the blue and we'll put this on the inner part of the under eye just to kind of tie it all together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on building up the pigmentation I'm going to match the other eyes this is more like a winged out one and I'll be back when we're ready to cut the crease okay so I've matched them up a little bit and I've also kind of got rid of any excess that kind of fell down and now we're going to cut the crease so obviously I'm going to use my P. Louise and blank canvas and my Mitchell base whatever the hell it's called <laughs> um this is in blank canvas it's one of the acid rains you know what it is and I'm going to use a P. Louise brush for this as well this is the 7072 and a tip that I learned from the Stacey Marie course is to wet your brush that you're using to apply not much just wet it a little bit and then squish it just so that the brush is literally as thin as it possibly can and then you're not using as much product to make it thin because obviously the water like the mist itself has already done all the hard work so I'm going to cut the crease and then we'll work out what kind of colours we're going to put on the lid okay so now that I've cut the crease I'm going to go back in with that little brush with the blue on it and start to put this back into the outer corner because like one side I end up cutting a little bit further the cross than the other because I knew I was going to be putting it back on anyway so I'm going to start putting this kind of like at a diagonal shade across to blend this in with the outer bit amazing I'm absolutely in love I must admit these colours I don't know what it is about them they just don't seem to stick down in this outer part of my my eye I was like really struggling I've been like packing them on and packing them on and packing them on but I do like how it's looking so far is anyone else in the UK excited to get the hair done and the brows done and all that kind of good stuff soon I've got my hair appointment booked I've got my nail appointment booked um I've got my facial booked what have I got um my brow appointment booked I cannot wait cannot wait anyways I asked my patron because I wasn't sure what glitter going with and what what vibe to go for basically and both Jodie and Melissa have said to do the pink which is Jack and fade that into Tulsa so let's just do that so I'm just taking a little detailer brush from Real Techniques and we'll start with the Jack one first right I'm gonna have to use my finger because that is just not working <laughs> at all and I'm going to place this towards the inner corner. I really do like this um, base for cutting the crease. But when you have wrinkly eyeballs like me, it doesn't half like emphasise them. Like it's just not, it's not cute. It's not cute. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely going to take a little bit of packing for this kind of shimmery shade. Mainly because it's kind of like more of a topper shade than like a really really vibrant shimmer do you can see so i took a little bit of time and i've kind of got pink litter all of my boobs now <laughs> because of it but it does work really 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 nice i think maybe a sticky kind of glitter glue would work really well with this or even just like a pink underneath and then putting this on top would work really well just not as pigmented as what i would like this tulsa shade though the blue glitter Oh my god it seems like a different formula it is a lot softer oh my god and look at it oh, that is beautiful not gonna lie I feel like the prettiest tango ice blast in the whole world <laughs> I think it looks so nice so let me finish off the rest of my makeup and we'll come back 
and we'll test the moniker setting spray. This is the Carmen Fixing Spray with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. It is a little mini one, it costs £6 and this one is meant to be a sweet pineapple scent. I haven't actually smelt this one yet so I'll do the rest of my makeup and we'll come back, we'll test that. So this is a little close up of the finished look. Do I wish that the blue was slightly more pigmented? Yes, definitely. I feel like it does kind of let down the outer part of the look a little bit. However, like I said earlier, I feel like the sexiest Tango Ice Blast Sush Puppy in my life. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. I will go through what I've used in the rest of my face and stuff and lashes at the end in case you are interested. But yeah, this is the finished look. Now let's try the setting spray. So like I said, the setting spray is a mini one. Retails for £6 and this one is meant to be a sweet pineapple scent. You can shake it up first and then let's have a little... Ooh. I thought it was going to be like a continuous one because of the thingy, but that's actually a really nice mist anyway. So let's have a little... Ooh. Oh my god, it smells exactly like pineapple. Mmm, that smells so good. A lot comes out of that spray, as you can tell, because my face and hair it look dripping wet now. So let's let that dry a little bit. What did it say that it did? It said it was calming, fixing spray of hyaluronic acid, which obviously is going to give you a nice dewy kind of look, a nice plump look, and vitamin E. And it's a little 30ml one, so it's not too bad considering it's a mini one. I do feel like it's made my makeup look a little bit less We've got a hair there. A little less powdery looking and a little bit more dewy where my highlighter is, which is nice. And a little bit more dewy on my forehead, which I actually haven't put any highlighter up here. Obviously, I've put it here on top of my nose, but not my forehead. And I feel like that looks a lot more dewy and reflective than it did before. So I actually really like that. I would probably buy that again for the scent and everything as well. I'm so excited to try Rachel's because hers is strawberry. And that's my favourite. So let's do my little kind of roundup. And then I'll show you what other products I've got on my face. So in regards to the Chandler palette, I do feel like the shades could have been a bit more pigmented, especially kind of that blue. I don't know if you can see in the outer corner, but it just, it's not fully there. If I put down like a P. Louise base underneath it, perfect. It would have worked really, really well in regards to like a colourful P. Louise base. If I put like a, or even like one of the darker ones, like the darker blue ones, it would have worked really well. However, it just doesn't seem to work very well without anything underneath it as a colourful base. I might be able to try it maybe with like a Revolution eye base instead of using the P. Louise one just in case it doesn't work well with P. Louise. But in regards to like the palette itself, I actually really, really like it. I'm really happy that it pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me into a Tango Ice Blast. So thank you. I appreciate that. Again, £8 and I'd really recommend it. I think it's cute. Is it one that people are probably going to reach for on the daily? Definitely not, unless this is your daily eye makeup look, which I love you. Please follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back. <laughs> but it's not going to be for everybody, but for me, I like it. I feel like it's pushed me out of my zone a bit. And it's just it's just fun, isn't it? It's just fun and cute and different. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the We Were On A Break palette. Let me just quickly grab it, which is this one. And this one is the more colourful one. So we're going to have another colourful look. Haven't got a clue what I'm going to do tomorrow with this one. I'll just wing it and see how it goes. But it's actually going to be a collab with Alex K, to make up with Alex K on here on YouTube as well. So that's going to be really exciting. So I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for that. If you want to know what I've got on the rest of my face, I'll quickly do a run through now for you before I finish off the video. So lashes are Doll Beauty Jasmine Lashes. Did you expect any different from me? I use the Velour Lash Glue, which I really, really like. Really, really quick drying. For the highlighter, I've got the Soft Palette on. I actually use a mixture of these three shades for it. Mascara for top lashes before my like false lashes went on. I use the Revolution Lift and Define 5G Lash Mascara. For bottom lashes, as always, I use the bottom one from Ardell. For the colour in my waterline, I use this for the first time. This is the Makeup Obsession and Tiffany. These are kind of like the bright eyeliner sets. I never used these before. I also have her palette to test out. So let me know when we do a video testing her palette with the eyeliners as well. But pigmented pigmented for blusher i use the um doll beauty blusher in the shade beach please i just use a little bit of this because it is really pigmented and obviously it's really bright as well too fair i do this every single time but i could definitely do with some more on i feel like blusher just disappears off my face so quickly 
moisturizer I used the Galan Meteorites one, it smells amazing, it smells like Parma Violet. For foundation I used the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible foundation in the shade Ivory 20. To set my under eyes I used the Revolution Translucent Powder from a Christmas gift set. For the rest of my face I use the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the shade NC30. I always go shade darker with that because it comes up quite light compared to the liquid foundations. I also use a cream bronzer, this is the Huda Beauty one in the shade Fair, amazing. Primer, I use MAC Strobe Cream, I also use the MAC Dark Tan Mineralized Skin Finish, my favourite bronzer in the whole wide world. Favourite concealer in the whole wide world is the Revolution Concealer and Define Infinite, which I also use today. Tinted Brown Mascara was from NYX, and that one's in the shade um, Black because it is just transforms your brows. So easy to do, so easy. And then the little lip combination that I've got on is a Makeup Obsession Lip Liner, which I think might have been from a Christmas gift set, I think, because it hasn't got a name on it, but it's just that kind of colour. And then I use the Kat Von D, which is now KVD Beauty, um, lipstick, liquid lipstick. And I also topped it off with one of the Disney Cinderella I Heart Revolution lip glosses, which is beautiful. And the thing that has everything, obviously including the Chandler palette and obviously the Monica spray that you've seen as well. But that is literally everything that is on my face right now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons for helping me today pick what colour combination to go for my lip to help me pick what combination for my eyes, whether to use the eyeliners and stuff as well. Thank you so much. I will hopefully see you tomorrow for the We Were On A Break palette and for the rest of the days for the rest of the palettes. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>